Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a few layouts to share. For all of these layouts I used the Painted Posies 12 by 12 paper stack from Craftsmith. Um, I picked this up at uh, Michael's and the weight of this paper and everything is very similar to DCWV so it, I thought it was a really pretty stack with muted tones. Um, so I picked it up So, and other than a couple pieces of cardstock, that's I used that paper for all of these layouts. So this is the first one. This is my mother-in-law. I did some layering with different paper from the um, collect from the collection. I used my Martha Stewart punch to punch out these little. Um, I guess they're daisies. I did use some basic gray chip. Or no, I mean. Um, these are chipboard accents from um, Joann's. I don't know the brand, it's like Joann's brand. These are some glittered little um, embellishments from Michaels. And I just did a lot of layering. I put You Are Awesome up on Pop Dots, and I guess that's my title, um, is You Are Awesome. <laughs> and I used some of the, um, the Clear stickers, photo stickers, I love your smile, and, <clears throat> excuse me, sweet moment here at the top. So this was the first um, layout that I completed. And then I did this one. And this is an old photo of my boys, Logan and Spencer. Spencer was 19 at the time, and he had... Um, moved out and this is one of the first times that he had come back for a visit so um, I love the picture and I had printed it out in like a sepia tone but it seems to have a greenish tone also to it so I used this background paper from the collection it's really pretty because it says um, different things in the background there it says um, love bloom hello beautiful you are my sunshine thank you you are loved so it's very appropriate for this, and I don't think it's too feminine, you know, for a boy's layout. So I used some of the crocheted adhesive um, ribbon here up on top. I didn't make it go all the way across because that would have boxed the layout in too much and it would have been too heavy. So I just did it halfway across on um, top and bottom. These are basic gray buttons, or no, I'm sorry, recollections buttons. So I finished those off. I was able to throw that pack away. And also these layered yellow bicycle flowers. I took out the dimensionals out of these flowers so that they would sit better in my scrapbook album. I also replaced the buttons. These are the buttons that goes, go to these burlap flowers. But I replace them with the recollections buttons be just because I like them better. So um, there's those. Um, and then this is a basic gray adhesive chipboard piece. And these are basic gray. And this is just a die cut that I had cut using a Spellbinders die. And it was in my stash. So I thought I'd use it there. So just really really cute I thought um, this was a quick layout um, this was me um, I believe this was 2011 and this is why you need to date your photos um, I think this was my birth it's obviously my birthday 2011 <clears throat> so I, I wasn't sure if it was 2011 or 12 at any rate it's my birthday um, so it's just me with Joe and Logan. Um, I used this blue cardstock and layered it with this other uh, paper from the collection. I thought it just reminded me of a party, all those muted tones. I used another Heidi Swap acetate piece here. It says celebrate. Added some lace for the feminine touch and the recollections $2 spot flowers. Just a relatively simple layout. I thought it was cute. And then this layout is my sister and I this past December showing off our boots. And my mother 
wanted to take our picture, see? Up here it says um, it's all about the boots. I, I forgot the word the, but anyway. <laughs> so I mixed it up with some papers from the collection, just did some layering, and then I slipped in some vintage type ephemera um, through, throughout the layout that have to do with fashion here, here, and here. I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, this is a bottle cap that I created. It was in my stash. I layered it on this burlap piece. It says fabulous, another Heidi Swap piece. Um, used my crochet lace from Hobby Lobby that I'm trying to use up. These gold hexagons are from the Tim Holtz um, die, and these are the pieces that come out of it. So I, they're gold, so I wanted to use them up. So that's that layout. I did a lot of layering. I thought it came out really cute. And then this last one is my favorite, Papa's hat. This is Alyssa. Joe had gone into the attic to get some Christmas decorations down and he came across his old Marines uniform and he was in the Marines when he was like 17 and 18. So the hat is really small. And um, Alyssa saw it, put it on her head and she kept it on the whole, you know, she didn't want us to take it off her. So Joe just gave her the hat. So I thought it was really sweet, so I incorporated this paper from the collection to coordinate with the green in her dress. The background paper in gold, letter, in gold letters, it says, Hello Beautiful, all in different fonts. Really appropriate and pretty. I knew I wanted to use that paper for this particular layout. Um, to bring in some more green tone, I used the Target Twine to make that effect. This is my um, journaling here. And I cropped the photo narrow, so I needed the long narrow strip here um, to just make it work because the photo is very narrow. And I added um, a little piece of music vellum sheet here to bring in a little bit of the dark of the black because of the black in the background of the photo. So, and again, I used the gold hexagons as, as bling, so to speak, throughout. So I thought it came out really cute. These letters are from um, Sticko, and they're really nice. I'm going to pick up more of those. Um, so those are my layouts. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.